When we think about innovation, uh, there's so much that has come out of uh, the pandemic uh, for Pfizer that we think we can apply going forward. Uh, one, of course, is again launching a mRNA vaccine. What an opportunity we have to apply that technology that we've installed uh, over a billion dollars worth of equipment in our plants around the world. Can we use that technology for new products? Could it be a new variant of uh, a vaccine? Uh, could it be a flu vaccine? Could it be a combo? Could it be for other diseases? So we're thrilled to use this capability that we've built in mRNA uh, for other diseases. The other piece that really comes through to us is our ability to distribute through cold chain. Uh, that technology has really been uh, developed and shown to be extremely effective. We have shipping efficiency rates in our vaccine of 99.99%. I mean, just flawless execution through digital tools, monitoring our product as we go around the world. And then lastly, we're also looking, uh, as it relates to our antiviral, about how do we make solid dosage products even faster and in smaller uh, facilities. So we have uh, prototypes in place that are looking at basically shrinking the factory down to the size of uh, a container, the size of a tractor trailer. And can you do more continuous manufacturing rather than batch uh, and allow us to get products to patients even quicker? So I think that there's just so much more innovation to come, so much more opportunity. Uh, but at the heart of all this opportunity uh, is really talented people, right? Talented people that are thinking about uh, patience at the end for high quality products, but innovating with technology, with digital, with uh, amazing opportunities to make an impact on public health.